Hulk Beck. Who wants to talk about sleazebait? I'm sorry, eBay. <laughs> I bought this Cobra 142 off of eBay. This was $130 for this package. Uh, the package included the radio, which if you don't know what a 142 is, it's a 40 channel with sideband radio. And the radio came with a handheld power mic, a power meter that measures 2200 and 2000 watt and also SWR. Uh, let's see, what else? It came with two patch cables and a box of tubes. And it came with a desk mic. <laughs> All right, we'll start with the desk mic. Obviously, you can see that that's not right. Then, let's go to the power mic. The power mic had a 9-volt battery in it. Still has the 9-volt battery in it. It's full of corrosion. It ate through the 9 volt connector and it ate the wiring and it made a mess inside of the microphone. So, there's a second microphone that's no good. All right, I have power up the radio. While the radio, both of the meters are stuck. Uh, they're both up a little ways and they don't move, they're just stuck there. Not a big deal. I could have lived with the meters being bad, but the radio has no output. <laughs> Somebody, I'm sure, was playing with a microphone with no antenna connected and burned out the finals, and there's also a few other parts inside that are burned out. So the radio's no good. The radio needs more work than it's worth. Both of the patch cables that came with it. I mean, I wouldn't really use these anyway because they are RG58, but they both shorted out. They both have dead shorts in them somewhere. So, worthless. The unfortunate part is, is the meter is the only thing that worked in this lot. It's the only item I wanted to keep for myself. I had planned on selling the radio and the two mics and just at least breaking even so that I would have ended up with the meter for free. So I contacted the seller, <laughs> and he says, oh, that was an as-is sale. Well, it was listed as used, and nowhere in the description did it say as-is. Um, it said it was tested, and all should work fine. Well, like I said, that's that. This is full of corrosion. The radio's got burned-out finals and a bunch of other burned-out components in it. The meters are no good. The only thing that worked, like I said, is just the meter. Well, he continued to give me a fight and insisting that it was an as-is sale. Well, I went back and forth with him for a while until finally I just had enough and just waited until the time came that I could put in the claim with eBay. Uh, eBay looked into it and immediately sided with me and told me to pack it up and send it back. Well, I contacted the seller after eBay made their decision and asked him if he really wanted to pay. He's clear across the country. So it was $68 was part of that 130 I paid to ship this. Uh, so I asked him if he really wanted me to ship this junk back to him. I mean, the radio's not worth the repairs that it needs. Well, he's just continuing to be a jerk and he replies with, it's yours, do whatever you want with it. So, I guess I'm gonna put this in the mail and he's gonna get it back. He's gonna have to pay for the shipping that he paid to get it here and the shipping to get it back to him. So he's gonna be into this thing for over $130 for a radio that does not work. His choice. He's deciding to be a jerk, so man, I would've used the thing for pots or thrown away most of it. This is worthless. The button's gone, the top is all broken off. That's garbage, throw it away. This is garbage, throw it away. The cables are garbage, throw them away. Well, I guess that's not up to me because like I said, he's being a jerk so it has to go back to him. And he'll just have to deal with the fact that he's gonna be out $130 because of stubbornness. If he had worked with me and given me back some of the money, 
I mean, I would have split some of it with him, and this way, neither one of us would have been at a loss. I would have been willing to pay for what this is worth, and what this is worth as a POTS radio. Nothing more than that. It's not worth anything more than that. So, like I said, tomorrow this will be going back in the mail and going back to him, and he's going to end up being out $130, over $130, because of shipping costs. But that's his choice. All right, that's enough about my piss poor eBay purchase. Now let's talk about an eBay sale. Actually, before we finish on this one, let me just add one more thing to it. If you measure this radio, front to back is 14 inches. I don't know how this didn't get broken up in the front. Because the box that he shipped it to me in is 14 inches. There was absolutely no protection on the face of the radio or behind the radio. Somehow it made it here safely. I can't guarantee it's going to make it back safely. Not my concern. So, now let's talk about a sale that I had on eBay. I sold this radio, a Zachary T. This radio worked flawlessly. There was no issues whatsoever with this radio. Now, the customer contacted me and said that the on-off and volume control did not work. So, no problem, send it back. But when I sent it to him, I had it double boxed. I had it in a box that it fit snugly in with enough room on the top for the microphone, which was packaged individually uh, and set in its package in here. Then that box was put inside of another box that had a layer of styrofoam all the way around it inside of the box. So it had a box, styrofoam, and another box. So the radio was perfectly protected in the packaging that I sent it in. When he sent it back, he sent it only in the inner box. So word to the wise, if you sell something on eBay, when you ship it, if you double box it, make sure that inner box cannot be used as a shipping box. Because when he shipped it back, because of these feet on the bottom, at the post office, they must have thrown the box. And the whole bottom was caved in. There's still a couple little wrinkles in it. Uh, I took it all off and hammered it out and flattened it all back out. But the problem was when it got caved in, <coughs> excuse me, it damaged the circuit board inside of the radio. So I turned it on, and of course the very first thing I checked was to make sure it turned on. And it turned on just fine, but the channel display and the channel change weren't working because this circuit board was broken in this corner and <laughs> it just it ripped apart the circuit board when the bottom got caved in so I ended up having to do patchwork on the board solder in wires uh, re-solder some traces and I got the radio working again and it works flawlessly again and still gives me absolutely no issues with the on off and the volume so the whole time it was by a remorse and he just made up a story for shipping it back and then he was a total jerk and shipped it back in just a, a layer of cardboard so I'm, I'm not sure how the face of this didn't get smashed in because there was no protection on this face whatsoever it was right against cardboard uh, like I said the only part that got damaged was the whole bottom got caved in uh, especially this corner right here uh, that's the part of the circuit board it actually broke off a triangle piece oh inch and a half by inch and a half in and right across it so that's all fixed back up unfortunately because of the way eBay works I got burned on this one um, I contacted eBay when this came back in and told them what happened and they didn't care they saw that it had been delivered that's all that mattered to them they gave the guy his money back fully refunded him uh, they didn't even care that the box I shipped it in was 18 by 18 by 12 inches, and the box that it came back in was 14 by 14. I mean, that should have been an indication right there that something was wrong, but they didn't care. They gave him his money back and said, screw you to me. So, they may have burned me on that one, but I'll be damned if they're gonna, I'm going to let eBay burn me on this one or a seller burn me on this one. 
Um, this is going back. I'm putting it in the mail tomorrow. Uh, like I said, it's unfortunate because I really wanted this meter, but it's got to go back. All right, thanks for watching. Remember, you can always find me on 38 Lower Side Bin. But turn the squelch down, it's always on. So, 73s for now. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.